Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, to Global Impromptu Speaking Session number 130. This is going to be one of the smallest sessions of on this platform. But anyways, momentum has to continue. Thank you so much, Osman Manu, for uh, pushing us to make it happen. Really appreciate it. And uh, let's give us, uh, give us, give each other a big hand, first of all. Thank you so much. Today, we are going to manage our time by ourselves with estimation because we are quite experienced and we should have an idea. We are going to speak for plus minus two minutes. And uh, the first person who will be giving a topic to somebody who he would like to, he is Toastmaster Manu. So let's put our hands together to welcome Toastmaster Manu on the podium. Over to you, Toastmaster Manu. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Amjad. I would like to pick uh, Santosh. Yeah, he's fine. He has not muted himself, so I'll give him the first go. So, Toastmaster Santosh. Yeah. Decide what's ideal before you decide what's possible. Decide what's ideal before you decide what's possible. Toastmaster Santosh. Thank you, Toastmaster Man, for the topic. Good evening to all of you. Decide what's ideal before deciding what's possible. Uh, good concept uh, because what, what is going to be possible, there is no limit, I think. It is a limitless thing. What is possible for human being? You can, if you think in the history, uh, it was considered difficult from, uh, to talk from one end of the country to one end of the world to another end of the world. But then telephone came out and it became possible. Before it was difficult, before Wright Brothers took a flight, it was difficult to understand whether people, um, human can fly like a bird, but that was become, that became possible. So uh, first of all, the goal has to be decided and then the path and how to achieve that. We decided that I, that is what my take is. Uh, in my personal life also, what I do is I don't consider whether I'm capable of doing that or anything else. Uh, I just dive in for any activity or any uh, of any objective I have. And I try to do, I try to do that. Uh, when uh, I was, uh, I finished my graduation, I wanted to do the cost accountancy. I actually am from science background, but cost accountancy was a totally different subject. It was from the commerce background, but still I decided to do it. I did not think that is it possible for me? It will be difficult for me. I just tried it. I did not. It did not work out. I failed it, but I have no regrets. Uh, but there are some success stories as well. Something which I can share, like uh, when I, I work possible to do. This is not a problem I can solve. And I also don't. But whenever I take that uh, take that uh, task. I don't think whether I can be able to do it. I decide that I have to do it. And then I jot down the things, what, I, what is possible, what are the modalities, what can be done. That, that way I approach it. Many times I get successful. So this is good concept that before uh, you don't uh, decide ideal before uh, deciding uh, what are the, uh, I, I forgot, sorry. So this is my take on this. Thank you. Um, back to you, Toastmaster Manu. Thank you, Toastmaster Sachin. That was a wonderful take on the topic. Now it's your turn to yeah. ask someone to speak. So you yes. can pick. Uh, so I will pick Mr. Uh, Toastmaster Navin. Yep. Uh, Toastmaster Navin, the topic for you is what confuses you? What confuses you, Toastmaster Navin? Over to you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. What confuses me? Fellow Toastmasters, there are, there are a lot of news items which really confuses me. And the way these news items get, get conveyed to us or the manner in which they are relayed to us really confuses me. Because what I've observed in the past few years, for, for after quite, quite some time, is that each and every news agency, each and every country has got a different way of projecting the news based on what they want to portray for, 
for a single incident or event which has happened. And sometimes it becomes very misleading. And, uh, and of course, in, in the past decade or so, we've had so many different types of news agencies uh, which we were not even aware about, for example, the social media. Social media itself has become very receptive in nature. For example, we, we, I'm sure we all uh, receive uh, humongous numbers of, uh, of WhatsApp messages, WhatsApp news messages, and, and so many things which get, uh, which get forwarded to us. And some of them are so, uh, are so misleading and deceptive and so confusing that it tends to create unnecessary panic. And because of this unnecessary panic, uh, like, like I mean, we, we just don't know how we should function. And, and, and innocently, sometimes we also end up forwarding th those messages and we ourselves are contributors towards this confusion. So next time, uh, what I would, like to, I would like to suggest, or I would like to give a call, call to action for all of us over here, that please, if you get any messages, any news, if you hear from, from, from anywhere or you read it online, please verify its authenticity. It may or may not be correct or, or maybe it might not be relevant for you to really forward it to other person or to your near ones unless you really find it appropriate. Because, the, because in this world, there are already so many problems which people have. And, and I mean, you, you might be contributing to, to another confusion or another problem for your near, near ones. So please be sensitive. Please know some ethics or etiquettes of uh, spreading the news which, for which you are not aware about. So that's what I would like to mention. Thank you. And that's what confuses me. Thank you. All right. OK, now I, I mean. Now, Toastmaster to Navin, you have to give the topic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. OK. Just a second. All right. So first, first I'll, I'll give the topic to the to the four of ones who are present over here, and then from there we'll carry it forward to the next. Okay, so Toastmaster Amjad Ali, I've got a topic for you. Okay, the topic is: if a problem can be solved with money, it's not a problem; it's an expense. If the problem can be solved with money, it's not a problem; it's an expense. Toastmaster Amjad Ali. Uh, thank you so much, uh, DTM Namin. If problem can be solved with money, it's an expense, not a problem. Now it's confusing me. The reason being, not exactly same thing applies at every situation, at every location, at every position. Things are changed. Life has changed. We are so much in number. We are more than 7 billion people. And everybody has a different mindset. So am I? Sometimes it does apply that when problem can be solved with money, that's an expense, but not every time. For example, I'm hungry. I have to go eat. This is not a problem, but I, I need money to go and eat. If this problem can be solved, that does not mean it's an expense. Actually, it's a need. That's the reason I'm making money for. That's the that's reason we're all here on this planet. Every day, go to work, help each other, or listen to each other, listen to other people's problems, share our problems. And for that, we are paid for. A work for other people, we are not happy with. Our people work with us, they are not happy with us, but still they work. It's not about all, it's not uh, about expenses, it's about the need what we have. And but if we talk about luxury, to me, and luxury is solved with money, yes, that is an expense. But if something is necessity, if that is being solved with money, that is not an expense for me. This is my understanding. Of course, not everything applies everywhere in everyone's life. I've been mentioning a lot, almost in every single other speech, that we have to think life according to our situation, according to our resources, according to our surrounding, because we cannot compare our life with the person who is sitting 5,000 miles away. Because their circumstances, their resources, their needs are completely different than us. So there's a quote I have made, it's an original, everything works not for everyone. 
everyone works not for everything so this is how i conclude this one it can be a problem it can be an expense it can be luxury it can be necessity it's all about where are you what position are you holding right now and that will matter the most thank you so much mr topics master back to you okay uh, now you may give a topic for for all the new ones who have come in oh uh, sure all right uh, let me just quickly explain uh, i will be picking manu is left mr Abhi, kumar and babu <clears throat> i will give you a topic any one of you and after that once you speak you finish your speaking when you finish speaking you have to give a topic to another person all right okay prepare your topics and now i am going to pick uh, navid for his topic navid your topic is start young retire young start young retire young over to you thank you very much uh, tm amjad sir for giving me such a nice topic start young and retire young what a great thought a uh, few uh, i think a few years back i learned from uh, one ceo of company he said that it is not the age to retire like we usually see that people at 60 year of age uh, in government as well as in private companies uh, the person retires and then person feels that uh, when i will uh, become 60 and i will retire from the company then i will be free and enjoy my life but and and also we see sometimes some people see that retirement is a negative word because we will not be able to do enjoy so but there are two types of uh, people one see retirement is an opportunity one see retirement is an the end of something enjoyment some people say that why not to retire at age 40 or even earlier than before earlier than this age so that they can tour the whole world they can give more time to their family they can write a book and they can serve the community well because when we are full time busy at our work at our companies we we are unable to give time to other perspectives of life and when we see that retirement is an opportunity we should not wait for 60 years of age we being a young person can enjoy and can contribute life even now we have opportunity to make a life better for ourselves as well as for other people as i heard that we are work in progress we are not perfect or we are not we have not achieved something that we want this is work in progress even the person who is ceo is work in progress so thank you very much uh, tm amjad sir for giving me this topic so i think uh, um, this is my turn for giving topic to other person uh, tm babu gupta yes yes so your topic is don't live your life on training wheels like on a bicycle there are two wheels uh, at the end of the cycle uh, cycle so topic is don't live your life on training wheels take it away tm babu don't live your life on something that uh, teaches you training wheel is a thing that uh, teaches you how to cycle or uh, anything which teaches you but at one point of life you will have to become someone's mentor 
after giving the speech of introduction to toastmaster mentoring this opportunity has come to my life where the vp education has asked me to become someone's mentor but i am shying away from that because i still think that i am on the training wheel and the same thing he explained me that do not remain on the training wheel always training is something which you will learn while you are giving training to someone else so while teaching to anyone you can be a student you might not be the official student but you will learn many things while you are teaching you will face problems and you will ask questions who are more efficient in that uh, portion so if you want to be more skilled more gain more skill or if you want to be a more uh, passionate communicator or a public speaker or anything in your life you will have to start to train someone because while training anybody you can also learn from the same person for example while i was telling one of my labor to do a job like this he told me that don't do the job like this it will be better if you do the job like that so if i will remain always a trainee then there will be a less scope to learn anything in life so yes you will have to get out of the comfort zone and become a trainer at one point of your life and the learning will continue and now i will like to give a topic to uh post master guest i can see someone with name guest can you open your video please okay i can see guest sachin koshik so guest sachin koshik and you unmute yourself and uh, your topic is am i approval yes your topic is am i what am i am i what am i guess such it am i what am i this is a serious question which everyone should think at least in a couple of time or couple of days i must say at least every 6 month unless and until we think what we are doing we will not be able to understand whether we are going in the right direction or not this can be only possible by self thinking whether what i am i and what i should be or whether i am going in a wrong direction now for this from childhood each of us have been told that there are two path a path to a good side and a negative side parameters are been set which help us to decide whether we are going in a right direction or in a wrong direction but as we know in our daily chores we are so busy and sometimes because of our own greed we forget the right parameters thus at least if we will introspect ourselves in a certain period of time not necessarily 6 month it could be 15 days or a week also we will be able to introspect we will be able to decide whether we are going in the right direction or not and this is the way i think is the best one and everyone should follow it thank you babu gupta
please select someone, sir, to give a topic. Okay. You can choose from Umair, Vijaya, Dinesh Reddy, or guest. Uh, guest, can you change your name to the, your real name as well as the turn your video on, if it's okay for you? Is it up to me to decide whom to select? This yes. is my first time. Yes, Sachin, no problem. You can choose anyone from the name I mentioned. You can choose Umair. Umair came first. Okay, Kumar, are you ready? Yes. Kumar, your topic is Stitch in Time Saves Nine. Stitch in Time Saves Nine. Kumar, stage is yours. Can you please write it in the inbox or message? I could not understand. Okay, your just a minute. Very louder voice. This is a prayer. Stitch in time, so is mine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, stitch in time saves nine. Uh, I think uh, everything which has uh, done at the right time, uh, it goes in favor of the doer. So, uh, for example, uh, I do business of cars. I, uh, I bought a car and uh, after one day, uh, a person called me and he, he was gave me uh, offer uh, which will uh, which would have given me a margin of uh, 25000 uh, sorry so at that time i did not give him the car uh, i was uh, thinking about 50000 or 75000 or something else uh, the result was that uh, after one month the same car was uh, uh, in my house and uh, i had the same offer of uh, 25000 a margin so at that time i had to give that car and uh, at that time i understood uh, this the situation that if i had uh, given my car at that time it would have saved uh, my time at at, uh, at that moment so in this case i wasted my time of one month uh, on the same car and at, uh, as a result it gave me the same margin of 25000 so I think the wise step should be taken at the right time and uh, it will save your time. So back to you. Thank you. I think now it's my turn to give a topic. Uh, Dinesh, are you ready? Yes, Sumer. I'm not able to turn on the video. I'm just traveling. So um, okay. hope that's fine. Okay. So your topic is all that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. All the glitters are not gold, right? Can you? Yes. Uh... All that glitters is not gold. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. And uh, all that glitters are not gold. I think. Uh, this is something uh, we can you know uh, uh, say when uh, when we have we cannot judge book by uh, it's uh, you know uh, by the by the you know top page at the same way you know you cannot uh, judge anyone or by seeing the external appearance uh, people sometimes you know they might look good at on the in front of you and uh, they can change their colors when behind you. So uh, it's not that how, you know, they talk in front of you. On the same way, it's not the, uh, you know, it's not uh, money that also matters. It's just uh, uh, 
it just you know how uh, how you take the situation and you you move move you move forward right and the same way is that uh, all the glitters is not gold there might be uh, you know something we cannot deceive by the appearance you have to look beyond and uh, just understand and then move on so all i can say external appearance is not always something we can rely on we just have to get more you know by understanding deeper so that's what i can take it from here thank you so much shomer so i have to select someone of dtm anjit sir yes sure so now you will be yes will the be. remaining out of remaining participants you can just do select i think uh, freen is here she or uh, vijaya vijaya as well as uh, arfin are left okay uh, uh, afreen are you also try to keep your videos on please keep it look good uh, hi i'm sorry i can't keep my videos on but i would like to inform i'm a gavelier and i got this meeting link as a message and is it a problem if i can join this meeting today yes yes sure he will be giving you a topic you can uh, reply on your top, on this given topic please speak on the yeah. two minutes no problem okay uh, afreen uh, good evening and your topic is are you ready for ready to take the topic yes i am yeah so gavlier afreen your topic is social media doesn't ruin relationship acting single on it does social media uh, let me know if it is hard i can change the topic social media doesn't ruin the relationships acting single on it does i'm sorry but some of the words are not clear if you could type it on the chat or something sure 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 yeah thank you i just posted let me know if it is hard i can just switch it i think um it might be a little something which i might not understand so if you can touch the topic so yeah let me um so uh, maybe just uh, what is the best thing that you learned in last one year uh, keeping the covid in place what is your learnings from last one year guys yeah thank you thank you so much good evening everyone present here my topic is what's the last one uh, what's the la- what's the one thing i hear uh, learned from the last one year and since it's this pandemic we all know we, are, we all have been going through many difficult situations last year and also this year and one thing i've learned during this pandemic is something which my mom told me and we all know we all have our mothers who always gives us an inspiration and who always shares stories to us while going to sleep and my mom tells me three important values which i learned and i can relate to this entire situation and we all know we all want to become successful people one day or the other no matter what our age is no matter who we are no matter how we are and no matter where we live no matter when we think we want to be successful we all know that at one point we would want to be successful and be good at something in our lives and my mom taught me and my mom and also my dad they keep on telling me these three important values and the first one is to have faith in god which also means to do your prayers regularly wake up in the morning and god's blessings will all be, always be with you the words we speak come from our god's hands and the second value is to work hard we need to work hard to reach our dream, dreams and to be successful the third value is to have values in the sense you need to respect your elders have a smiling face don't be rude to anyone 
So these are three important things which I learned from the last year and hopefully it helps you all. Thank you so much. And I think the person left is Toastmaster Navid, if I'm not wrong. Am, am I correct? One Sorry, I can't hear. Let me, let okay. me check. So, then a lady, I think uh, TN Vijay is now. Yes. Yes, Vijay. Yes, I feel it's uh, TM Vijay. Vijay Raghun. Okay. Um, um, okay. Would you recommend someone to try something new, no matter if they fail or if they succeed? I repeat, would you suggest someone to try something new no matter if they fail or succeed Vijay Raghavan Vijay Raghavan's Galaxy M31. Yeah, so Afin, uh, it, it looks like Vijay Raghavan is not there to take the topic. So out of all the participants who are left, I guess I am the only one who is left. Am I right? So Afrin, if you mind to give me any one of you can just drop a message on the timing on the chat to keep me on track. Okay. Um... So who is going to do the timing? Afrin, can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Or... I love timing. You give me the topic and then you can start timing me as well. Yeah. Can I just have one second to think about a topic? Yes, yes, take your time. Okay. Would it be okay if I show my mobile form for timing? I have got a timer. Yeah, 13 networks. Thank you, Sachin. Okay. Toastmaster Manu, your topic is how would you describe heaven on earth? How would you describe heaven on earth? Okay. Thank you, Gavilier Afrin, for such a wonderful topic. How would you describe heaven on earth? Now, this topic comes really easy for me because I am someone who has experienced heaven on earth. So I'm not looking forward to die and be in heaven. Definitely, when the time comes, I'm willing to go there. But the fact is that you can experience heaven over here and how and to describe it it would be difficult to put in words because for me heaven is when you have wonderful people around you if you have great friends and family around you no matter what's going on in the world it is heaven for you so in my case this last one year has hit my business severely there have been challenges on different fronts, but I am one individual who has a high net worth. Now, when I say high net worth, I mean I have some gifted people in my life. They are such a wonderful lot 
that I can keep talking about them for hours together. And this table topic is too short a period to express my gratitude about having these people in my life. And whenever the only thought that these people are there for me makes me feel that heavenly comfort. So all that I can say on this topic in this limited time is that if you have even one friend that you can bank on, I don't think anything in this world, no matter what you're going through, what challenges life throws at you, you would be relaxed because you know there is someone who is covering your back and there is someone who means a lot and thinks a lot about you. All that I can say is that during these pandemic times, you be someone's friend. And if there's someone in your family or friend who you think would be there till the end of time, you are a gifted individual and you, no matter what's going around you, you, you have so much more to thank for. Over to you, Gavilier April. Thank you. So, uh, distinguished toastmaster, I'm just. Uh, I think we are done with all the participants. Do you want me to share the timings for all the speakers? Distinguished toastmaster, I'm just. Are you there? I think I think he's uh, busy. So, oh, you. Yeah. I think uh, you can share the timing, and after that. Yeah. I'll share the timing report and then probably we'll hand over the charge to distinguished Toastmaster Amjad. So starting with the first speaker, it was Toastmaster Santosh who took stage. He spoke for around two minutes. Second speaker, Toastmaster Naveen, spoke for two minutes, 11 seconds. Distinguished Toastmaster Amjad spoke for two minutes, 45 seconds. Toastmaster Naveen took two minutes, 30 seconds. Fifth speaker, Toastmaster Babu Gupta, took 2 minutes 23 seconds. Sixth speaker, guest Sachin, took 2 minutes. Seventh speaker, Toastmaster Umer, took 1 minute 35 seconds. Eighth speaker, Toastmaster Dinesh, took 1 minute 25 seconds. Gavilier Afrin took 1 minute 51 seconds. And I took 2 minute 16 seconds. So it was all, all, all the speakers have qualified on the front, uh, except for distinguished Toastmaster Amjad. The timings may be a little here and there, but uh, more or less they, they are on the right front because I was busy juggling between the timer screen and typing the message. So having said that, it was a wonderful experience uh, timing these speeches and listening to all of you. I hand over the virtual stage to distinguished Toastmaster Amjad. Distinguished Toastmaster Amjit, does anyone have his contact so that he can be contacted and we can officially end the meeting and in the meantime, we can chit chat. Does any of the participants have the number of Distinguished Toastmaster Amjit? Yes, I am. Yes, I have. I am sending him a message. Yeah, yeah. Just drop him a message, Naveen. So this is a wonderful platform uh, for all of us, right? To practice thrice in a week. I have not been consistent attending these meetings, but now I plan to attend on a regular basis. So uh, what about uh, you? I think Umair, you are a regular, right? More or less. And even Naveen. Yes, uh, I am regular, but I was absent in the last three to four meetings. Okay. And what about guest Sachin? Uh, is this your first time or you have attended this before? Yes, this is my first time. Okay, that's great. great. And which Good club are you from? Me. I'm from Aditya Aluminium Toastmasters Club, Orissa, India. Oh, great, great. And how long have you been a Toastmaster, Sachin? Three months. PA got a new Toastmasters Club. Sorry, Sachin? Three months only. And uh, Navas Club is very amateur. It's only three months old. Okay. Okay. Great. 
So sorry, I refer to you as guest because I wasn't sure whether you are a toastmaster or a guest. I think we should follow naming convention. We should make it easy for the table topic master that all uh, toastmasters can name them as toastmaster TM. Yes. I, what about you, Nadi? Uh, yes, Sachin, you are saying something. Yes, I have started visiting other clubs, and they prefer to name outsiders as guest. That's why I mentioned guest. You can make it guest PM. Okay. So whenever I will you attend my... any any club, when you go right, because here, if you look at uh, this meeting, right, all of us are guests in this, or 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 you can say that we are all Toastmasters in this. So it's not a particular club which is holding it. It is. Distinguished Toastmaster uh, Amjad, who has started this wonderful initiative, and we are getting people all across the globe to come and attend these meetings. So it's a fabulous thing. So here we are all Toastmasters. I think we can even exclude the guest tag over here. Okay. What about you, Naveen? How long you have been attending these meetings? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, actually, I was member uh, Toastmaster uh, earlier. Uh, it's been, I think, uh, one or two years. I was, I'm not active. Uh, okay. I was member in Karachi Toastmaster Club in Pakistan. Okay. But in the, it's been two years. I'm not going there because uh, my job is transferred in Hyderabad. It's a near city in Karachi. So okay. I was looking for uh, virtual uh, platforms like this after the pandemic. Uh, mm -hmm. They are very active. So I got the chance and. Uh, uh, started attending uh, uh, Amjad sir's platform, this platform. So it's been, I think, uh, it's going to be one month I'm attending regularly. Oh, and I'm trying and I have improved a lot. It's only <laughs> one month and I'm feeling that I'm uh, improving and uh, also learning from you people, from all of you. <laughs> I agree, Navid. I have seen some people transform them because I attended one of the earlier uh, meetings, this impromptu sessions. And a few speakers that I noticed then, and recently when I started attending again, I have seen a sea change in them. So this is a wonderful initiative, and all of us are learning from each other. So, Gavidia, of the world are you from? I'm an Indian, but I'm residing in Doha, Qatar. Oh, great. Really loved the way you express yourself, Afreen. And how long you have been a Gavidia, Afreen? <laughs> Um, barely a year, I think. Okay. Almost a year. Great. Afternoon. Yeah. So keep attending. There are a few other Gavilliers who are pretty much regular in these sessions. And uh, you, you would scale up the ladder pretty soon because you have a great voice and you are, you also have great thoughts to share. Thank you so much. All the best for your journey. So it looks like uh, Distinguished Toastmaster Amjad is back. So, distinguished Toastmaster Amjad, we are done with uh, all the participants, and I have also shared the timing guidelines with all. Thank so, you so much. We appreciate it. And for each one of you, actually, I'm sitting in office and uh, I, I'm multitasking. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. With that, Bob has me as a host of this very meeting. I adjourn the meeting, and now over to each one of you to have fun for some time. I'm just stopping the recording.